This is part two of section 10.3, and in part two we're going to show you how to write the actual equation of the circle given the information, or if you're looking on a graph, you could do the same thing as well. Okay, remember, we're going to, we've got our standard form of a circle, which is right here as follows. Okay, that's our standard form of a circle. We talked about that in part one. Okay, first thing on how we're going to write the equation is we're going to substitute the center in for h and k. So we're going to put our h and k in, okay, and then we've got to figure out the radius, and we're going to put that in as well, okay? The thing about the radius is, is we're going to have to eventually square it to fill in the equation, okay? So as we look at the first example here, what is an equation of the circle with center of negative 4, 3, and a radius of 4? So I'm going to put down the standard form of a circle, And what we're going to do is we're going to fill them in. Remember, negative 4 is h, so we're going to fill this in. x minus h is negative 4 squared plus y minus k is 3 squared equals 4 is the radius and squared. So now we've got to fill some things in here. Okay, so these two negatives right here become a positive, so x plus 4 quantity squared plus y minus 3 quantity squared equals, and 4 squared is 16. And now you have the equation of a circle, okay, given the information. All right, so let's take a look at the second one. What's the equation of the circle with the center of 5, negative 2, and a radius of 8? Again, I'm going to put down here standard form of a circle. Okay. H is 5, so I'm going to substitute that in. K is negative 2, substitute that in. And R is 8, so I substitute that in as well. And I end up cleaning this up here, X minus 5 squared plus, and this becomes Y plus 2 squared equals 8 squared is 64. Okay. All right, so... Part two here of writing the equation of a circle given the information, or if you're looking at a graph, you can figure out the center and the radius and do the exact same thing. Okay, this concludes part two of writing equations of circles.